today we'll be learning about the most important five packages which we need to install in node.js so that our development process becomes much much easier so uh, for that first we'll just come simply create a new folder here and uh, we'll name it test and we'll go to our uh, desktop and we'll change directory to test here we'll simply uh, type touch which would create a file and we'll say index.js and now we'll say npm init and yeah, uh, why so this would uh, check all the questions which it asks so uh, now mm, as you can see if you open this so you will uh, see this package.json file uh, which appears in here so uh, now what we'll do is we'll go to our terminal and we'll start by installing the first package the very first package which is express we'll say npm install express and we'll hit install right so this would get installed and you can uh, see in our package this express got added so uh, this express is a node.js uh, framework as you can see which is mentioned in google as well express.js or simply express is a back-end web application framework of node.js released as a free and open source software under the mit license so this express.js uh, helps us develop uh, apis which uh, use less code as compared to if we only wrote that code in node.js right uh, the next one is mongoose so uh, we'll say npm install mongoose and we'll hit enter so this will also get installed in our package.json file as you can see so this mongoose is nothing but uh, this is as you can see uh, mongoose is a javascript object oriented programming library that creates a connection between mongodb and node.js as simple as that MongoDB, uh, mongoose helps us maintain and connect with mongodb and node.js in simple words if we use mongoose then we will be able to connect our node.js application with mongodb with a lot ease right so the next package which we will install is json web token so first we'll install it and then we'll talk about it so we'll say npm install json web token and we'll hit enter uh, so this this uh, json web token uh, as you can see uh, json web token is a proposed internet standard for creating data with op optional signature and or optional encryption whose payload holds json uh, that asserts some number of claims okay uh, if that seems very very hard to you in simple words json web token provides us with a simple token of a of any data uh, which you have entered that uh, in most cases is a user and using that token we can identify that user right so this is used for identification of users right and this it stores the information in a encryption encrypted format right so uh, next we have nodemon and we'll say npm install nodemon so nodemon is nothing but a very useful uh, tool for us which we can use because if we do not have nodemon then every time we want to run our backend server we'll have to say node index.js right uh, so this would run only once but what nodemon helps us with is that with, if we say nodemon index.js then this uh, keeps a check on that application and as soon as any more changes have occurred and we have saved them 
then this automatically runs node index.js automatically. That is very helpful when you are creating big applications, right? And the last is bigcrypt.js, right? So as you can see, it is written here, bigcrypt is a password hashing function designed by Niels Pros and David based on the Blowfish cipher and presented at this. So uh, this may seem very hard to you, but what basically this is used for in our Node.js applications is that we hash our passwords, right, of users using this bigcrypt.js. This is very helpful because if any uh, attacker gets the hold of our data, then he will not be able to know the exact password because that password is hashed, right? So to install this, we can say npm install bigcrypt. Uh, make sure that you spell it right and you can hit enter. So this would also install our decrypt JS. Right? So this was uh, the video guys and uh, these were the five most important packages that you must have if you are building a big uh, backend server. Right?